two laymen, one Capuchin and a Jesuit, Father Rutilio Grande, will be beatified in El Salvador on January 22nd. All four were killed in the late 1970s. Father Rutilio Grande was an advocate for peasants' rights during a difficult time in El Salvador. That's why in 1977 he was assassinated alongside two laymen who were with him, a teenager and an elderly man. His death deeply moved a local bishop and old friend of his, Oscar Romero, who from that moment on dedicated himself to serving the poor in a unique way. La muerte de Rutilio. Rutilio's death was a moment, an instant in Romero's life, which led him to turn to God with a question, what will I do? And God led him along unexpected paths, the path of the poor, and in a new way, because Oscar Romero had always served the poor, but now he was being called to become, in a certain sense, the voice of the poor. Father Rutilio Grande's assassination came one month after Oscar Romero's ordination as the Bishop of San Salvador. It was the most politically significant position for a bishop in the country. They were friends and very similar, both with peasant backgrounds, poor, with similar temperaments. Both men were introverted, reserved, reflective, and they were able to help each other in difficult moments. That's why Rutilio's death for Oscar Romero wasn't just any death, it was the death of his brother. Two laymen died alongside Father Rutilio. They were Manuel Solorzano and Nelson Rutilio Lemus, who were accompanying the priest on his way to celebrate Mass. They knew Father Rutilio had received death threats, and they knew that the priest had that fear. Father Rutilio himself asked people not to accompany him anywhere because he knew his life could come to a fatal end at any moment. So all three died as martyrs. Oscar Romero and Rutilio Grande and his two companions weren't the only ones from those difficult years in El Salvador to be declared martyrs. Another was a Capuchin friar, Cosme Pesoto, who met a similar fate. Would you like to see the Pope up close and personal? Download the Rome Reports app right now on your phone. There are versions available for both iPhone and Android, in Spanish and English. You will receive the best images of Pope Francis every day right to your cell phone, including his daily homily, his trips around the world, his meetings with global leaders, his acts of mercy to the needy. All this in a short and direct format, brief videos of one to two minutes, so you can watch wherever you are. Open your cell phone now. Download the Rome Reports app and follow Pope Francis everywhere.